So let's hear from our second round leader, Scott Piercy, as he is joined by Kira K. Dixon. Well, yesterday, Scott Piercy described the day as fun. Nice little seven under 64 today. Seemed like you were having a lot of fun out there today as well, perhaps? Yeah, you know, what a pleasant start to start off birdie, 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 birdie. And, um, you know, I don't think I've done that all year either. So a lot of firsts this week. But, uh, you know, I think I made a 27-footer on the first hole. So I'm like, all right, here we go. Let's get going. And I hit a couple really good shots on uh, 11 and 13 to make, uh, convert birdies there. But, uh, you know, overall, I'm really happy. Going into your 14th hole, there was a situation with timing, and then you end up having this pretty crazy par save. So can you just walk us through that? Us, that set of events? Yeah, I didn't feel like we were playing very slow, but the group in front of us had gotten away. The group behind us was still probably a hole behind us, so they told us to speed up, and I probably quick hit my three wood off that tee a little bit and put it in the sand, which, you know, I haven't, I've never hit it out of that sand before, so I wasn't exactly sure and just thinned it. Um, hit it up underneath the shot link tower and had to drop, and then Honestly, when the ball landed on the green from the chip, I thought I made it. I'm like, oh my gosh, these guys are going to go crazy. But, uh, you know, to make a save there is, keeps all the momentum. And then I was able to, I actually got kind of a bad break on six where my drive ended up. I had a terrible eye. Actually had a great shot for my second shot and then hit a pretty good shot in there and made birdie. So to save par and then birdie the next two was, was huge. So I was happy about that. On your 17th hole, you had a really impressive two putt. How much confidence do you get from uh, from something like that? You know, after the last two days of putting well, you're kind of like, oh man, I just left myself 11 feet for par, and maybe the only bogey of the day if you miss. And I'm like, nah, just pick your spot and hit, you know, hit your line. And you know, I think my caddy's done a great job of reading the greens this week, and you know, went right in the middle. So it's it's nice to continue that. With you, you never want the stop to come. So. Just keep riding it. Right, good luck the rest of the week. Yeah, thanks. So a lot to play for for the 43-year-old uh, Scott Piercy this week. Uh, Jim, you know, he's ranked 138th in mm. the FedEx Cup standings. We know it's this part of the season where players are, are fighting uh, to either keep, keep their card, and that's exactly what Scott Piercy is doing. He's done it the last seven seasons, made it through to the playoffs. Right. But he's not the only one who needs a big week this week. Yeah, when you look down at this board, as you said, he's 138th. You know, Griot's at 92nd. you got Terrence at 144th. You drop down to Streb, he's 128th, 135th, uh, or 5th. 17th for Hoagie, so he's fine. But you go down there and it's the top 20. There's about half of these guys need big weeks. And it's not only this week, they've got a couple more to go, but they're trying to get in the playoffs. For some of them, it could be playing privileges. So there's a lot of pressure on, on these guys as they go in there. And piercy has been there. This is sixth time he's had a 36-hole lead. He's won twice when he's had that lead. So he's he, his putting, as he mentioned, he strokes game putting. He's first for the week. Big improvement. And you really, you got to throw out all the stats for the year when you have a week like this, because when you look at his stats for the season he's missed four out of the last six cuts and they're not very good but this week things are coming together he knows how to get it done and it's also a lot of these guys have won tournaments that are sneaking up there now Finau. so it's it's these guys with the veterans guys will make the move tomorrow we'll see if these guys can handle the pressure with a lot on the line the next few weeks well you talk about having just kind of throw away the stats for the season mm -hmm. it's really great that that's exactly what scott piercy has been doing because when you look at the stats he's 193rd in greens and regulation yep. on tour he's 137th in strokes gained putting but then mm -hmm. he's leading right now right. in strokes gained putting and the last time he won was the Zurich Classic of New Orleans back that to the 2018-2019 season I look at his stats then he was ninth in greens and regulation and he was 63rd in strokes gained putting so just being able to be so mentally tough like you're saying Jim and bring back those past memories mm -hmm. he's been there before he knows how to get this done he's 43 years old uh, he's no spring chicken mm -hmm. on the PGA Tour so he knows how to play competitively and dig deep and find you know find that little extra something that you need yeah it was pretty much a flawless uh, round for him today and he's looking to carry on that form tomorrow uh, at the 3M open so many storylines uh, it's when the season starts to get very interesting indeed